to the second half of Football Friday Night, sponsored by Bojangles and Universal Windows Direct. Let's get back to the action on the field for South Point at Kings Mountain. With the win, the Red Raiders would take over sole possession of first place in the Big South Conference after their victory over Crest last Friday. George's, Jordan Sawyers was at this one and has the highlights. It's a cool crisp night here in Kings Mountain, where the Mountaineers host the South Point Red Raiders. South Point's first drive already facing a fourth down. Patrick Blee with the keeper, and he's got enough to move the chains. Then Brody Crawford with the lateral, using his speed, and picks up another first down. Finally, sticking to what they know, the Red Raiders on the ground. Blee gets in for the score. The Mountaineers looking to respond. TJ Armstrong connects with William Vaughn. He gets upfield for a few more, but not before laying in a mean stiff arm. Then a few plays later, Josiah Hill with some downhill running. He ties it up at seven. Chance forward with the straight ahead speed. South Point would head into the half up 14 to seven. Picking it up here in the fourth, the Red Raiders still up seven. Ford would pick up some nice yards on this run, but the Mountaineer defense holds. They have a shot. Later, Armstrong connects with Vaughn for a huge play. But later in the game, fourth down for Kings Mountain. Under two to go, inside the 30, the Red Raiders defense stood tall. Luke Willowiski gets in the backfield for the sack. South Point's gonna get out of here with a win tonight in Kings Mountain. I'm Jordan Sawyers for football for Friday night. I mean, would, should we expect anything else from South Point at this point after what we saw last week against Crest? Just the back and forth. I mean, South Point is never out of a game until the yeah. clock hits zero. So you look at back-to-back -back wins. These kids are battle-tested as you can be about halfway through the season so far. What a win for Coach Adam Hodge and his players. Yeah, yeah. They, they, South Point is back, folks, and they, they've got a deadly combination of that run and that pass with yeah. that, that option offense, man. And they're playing great defense. Just saw it. So uh, this South Point team's for real. They're going to they're gonna be a factor – in, in the 3A playoffs, that's for sure. So, uh, great win there. Uh, and right now, they're, they're in first place by themselves. They's all, they've already beaten the two uh, favorites to win the conference. You know, Chris was favored to win it all, and then probably Kings Mount was second, and then came South Point. But South Point has beaten both of those teams. Uh, all they have to do is just win out. They win the conference championship. They finish undefeated. They're going to get a high seed in the playoffs, and somebody's going to have to go to Lineberger Stadium <laughs> in, in November and knock them off to get them out the playoffs. So uh, South Point is pointed in the right direction. Yeah. Kings Mountain and Crest, it looks like that game at the end of the season is going to be for second place. That'll get you a home playoff game. But um, – uh, right now, South Point is the king of the I mean, they're just playing complete football right now. Absolutely. We knew the defense was going to be a pretty big constant. That's what South Point is kind of known for. And then you saw a lot in the highlight there, that that, that flex bone kind of triple option mm -hmm. veer type thing. But then we didn't even see them have to throw the ball tonight. We exactly. saw that last week. They were able to air it out a little bit. So you throw that wrinkle into it as well. How do you stop all three of those phases? You're not going to score that much on the defense. You you can't you can't sell out on the flex bone and when Patrick Blee decides to, to throw it downfield when they're able to do that. So as long as they execute and continue to kind of keep on keeping on, I see no reason why this team isn't going to cruise to a conference championship. And like you said, high seed in the playoffs, and they're going to be a very, very tough place to go travel to come November.